Hi Englishers, especially to my dear grade 11 students. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you have already subscribed and also like my videos. Okay, and uh, for our next video lesson for today, we are going to have another um, topic for our subject, English for Academic and Professional Purposes. We are now in our module 16. We're almost done. Okay, I hope um, you have already um, exerted a lot of effort okay, in submitting or turning in your modules. And rest assured, you will have good grades. Okay, and uh, for module 16, our um, discussion for today will be about types of research instrument. Okay, now that you have already um, learned how to um, make or create your own um, survey questionnaire, then we will be um, we will be taught how to or uh, what are those other research instrument that we can use in um, dealing with our uh, dealing with our research in conducting our research. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so here, um, before we will um, introduce the types of research instrument, instrument that we are going to use, we then just have to um, define what a research instrument is. Okay, and by the way, um, just to remind everyone, um, I will be using English language uh, for my discussion and also the explanation will be more of um, the Bisaya dialect. Okay, so then uh, let's proceed. What is a research instrument? Okay, yes, so uh, it's defined as a tool used to gather data on specific topic of interest. Okay, so again, a tool used to, go to gather data. Um, one of the examples uh, for that is um, the survey questionnaire we uh, had okay, in our previous discussion. Okay, so this, uh, sorry. Um, the instrument should be, should be valid and because um, it di it directly answers or addresses the research questions. That's why nga importante si importante siya nga ka ani nga a certain um, research nimo or um, instrument nga magigamit uh, makakuha gyud sa imong kinahanglan nga mga pangutana or kinahanglan nga tubag sa imong mga pangutana. Okay. So here we have okay the types of um, research instrument okay so they are very essential in conducting our research diba okay so mas makadagdag man siya og validity sa imong gi conduct ng research okay so the first type we have here is survey okay so we did uh, we did <laughs> last time um, the survey questionnaire okay so here in survey it contains planned questions which are used to measure attitudes, perceptions, and opinions. Okay, diba? Um, if you can still remember um, from the previous discussion about um, the guidelines in conducting um, your survey questionnaire. So, in um, mga tana mga kano, sa mga respondents, katong, ang example na to, katong, um, customer satisfaction regarding sa restaurant. Okay, so, kapila sila mo adto kinsa ilang kuyo kung mo adto sila okay nya indot bang ilang service nga to so mo strongly agree na kay um, strongly disagree so you're also asking the uh, opinions on that matter okay and um, for a survey it contains responses directly related to each specific research question okay so makaingon ta nga uh, mas kanang dali ang pag-survey so, anong dapita, makaibaw mo na yun pa sa answer, okay, directly sa ato ang mga respondents. Okay, so sa a survey nga ito ang i-conduct, okay, they can be in a form of an interview or a questionnaire. Interview, we have face-to-face -face or virtual because of our situation. Questionnaire, so printed siya. Okay, imong ihatag, um, hard copy, pwede, or soft copy niya, is sending mo sa imuhang respondent. Okay. Um, others, I, in my case, if I will be um, the respondent, I would prefer to answer the questionnaire rather than the interview. Makonsyos mong good ko. <laughs> uh, so, kinanan pa nga, um, um, i-request sa, uh, nag-conduct sa survey, nga, dili pa kita ang now, or, kinanglan man so pwede ra tingog lang voice recorder lang 
interview gap on siya. Okay. Another um, type of um, the research instrument we have is, uh, yeah, we do have the next type, but yes, let me go ahead and give you the three types of questions when conducting a survey. So, naade tay pamaagi. Um, I think I mentioned that um, from the previous discussion again, nga na ay pamaagi on Sunday paghan ay sa ato ang mga pangotana. Dili lang ta basta basta mangotana. Okay? So, we have the first type, um, recall type. Okay, so this one, it asks for specific information such as years of service, age, and address. Okay, kapila na de ay ka, um, kapila na de ni mong tuig ng serbisyo, or kapila na ka na nar, pila na ka, ikapila ni mong nga tuig na, na narbaho. In this uh, manner, I think uh, when it talks about age and address, so it is um, like confidential, so pwede ni mo i- um, initiate it's a monkey uh it's a monkey interview nga. rest assured ma'am um the information okay we have okay so inang na nimo siyang i, I make sure okay nga um dili jud ma reveal ang iyang identity okay next type of um uh, questions in conducting a survey we have the recognition type okay this is for a response to a specific question where opinions are given such as in the case of multiple choice um dichotomous okay um the yes or no question and the rating scale format okay so rate one to five okay you know, the strongly agree to um strongly disagree okay so is the restaurant giving you a providing you this one yes or no okay so pretty the shama part sa imuhang recognition type. Another type in um, conducting your survey, so open-ended type. It elicits brief explanations or impressions from the respondent. Okay. Um, open type, makabutang sila nga to, makasuwat sila kung unsa ang ilahang um, yeah, opinion uh, regarding the restaurant. I think na nga nga part um, sa questionnaire no nga. How can we improve our service to you? So, open-ended na itong part. Okay, so, maka-answer. Um, maka-answer da yun. Okay, ang respondent. Okay, mas nindot man sa ang open-ended. At least, makuha dyan ni mo ang opinion. Okay, di ba? Regarding sa imuhang survey. Okay, so this time, okay, we have here the next um, type or the second type of a research instrument. And from this, yes, uh, we can say another uh, effective as well. Um, in conducting your research is by the use of your um, experiment, okay, the instrument as experiment. Okay, mag-experimento ka. Okay, nindot, an exciting ni siya. <laughs> uh, this is a procedure undertaken scientifically and systematically to make a discovery and to test hypothesis. Tanan naman kay mga agam-agam. Okay nga. Ah, kani mo, nang nahitabu ni nga, uh, mula kay mga, mga rin nga mga customers kay mo ni. So, mag-experiment na ka. Okay. So, there are also um, different kind ways, okay, how to do your experiment. Okay. It can be formed in a laboratory or a natural setting. Mas exciting a natural setting kaysa sa laboratory. And uh, you need to have the laboratory kung imuhang research has something to do with the scientific something, no? Okay. Anong green and leaves. <laughs> uh, something in a sort of. Okay, so we have here um, types of, uh, yes, I think, wala na ko na mention dito, no? or sakto na to. Okay, I, I, I thought that, okay, I do have some examples on um, doing uh, and the natural setting. Mas exciting to siya. Okay, a natural setting. Okay, another type of the research instrument we have is um, the observation. Okay. So, it allows the description of behavior in a naturalistic or laboratory setting. Good. Nagyapon siya gamit sa laboratory again. Um, yes, some of the research conducted. Okay. Naji mga makunag um, ganin mo sa scientific studies. Okay. So, natural, I always go or prefer on the naturalistic manner or the naturalistic setting. Okay. Used to cross-validate the results of other instruments. So, mana naka observation kung sakto ba to ang gip, um, sa imuhang mga uban nga instrument na gigamit. Okay. 
most useful when the answers to research questions require description of behavior and setting. So, gamit ang observation. Okay. Oh, especially kana ang imuhang um, gikondak ng res nga mo conduct ng research kay nagtalk sa behaviors sa katao. Okay, of course you need to have observation of that. Okay. So um there are three types of observation. Okay, the first uh, the first type is the participant and the non-participant observation. Okay, participant here it allows the researcher to interact actively with the subjects. Okay, so um, um Again, ang muhang um, example ato kay mga ang customer satisfaction man. So, um, nakunuhay kay mga apprentice nga uh, mga irate customers niya giyon sa pag um, deal sa staff. Okay. So, in, in, interact man po uh, yeah, actively. Okay. Ang non-participant type, okay, it allows the researcher to observe the subjects without interacting with them. Okay. Pwede siguro siya nga Oh, wala di na siya, di na kinahanglan niya presensya kato ba. So, um mag ano ba ron siya mangutana lang sa observation man dayod ibni siya question. <laughs> so, mag-observe lang siya on say um uh, kanang na on say mga pangitabo ngadto sa restaurant okay, nga. Kung wala siya, magbilin ba siya rog CCTV si on i picture. Okay. So, non-participant. Walay um direct nga um, interaction sa katong uh, nag-conduct sa, sa research or sa researcher. Okay. At another um, type of observation we have structured and unstructured observation. Okay. Um, for the structured observation, it occurs when the research has a list of behaviors that he or she wants to observe. Okay. So, structured na um, na na siya gibasihan. Okay. Um, Pardon with the noise. Okay, it's my dog over there. Okay, ang ang gusto na kong observaran kung ano yung kinai kinaiya sa mga ta, sa mga customers. So from there, nanasigib ba siya? So dalit sa yaha ang pag-observe ang hinakuha ba niya? Okay, ang mga customers kay inani or tagdugay o kasagaran maabot ug mga eleven thirty niya mo order niya sa putun dayon kung dili maabot sa ten uh, after five minutes. Basin giingnan na sila nga 15 minutes ang waiting time. Okay. Another, okay. The other part, okay. Unstructured observation, it occurs when the researcher allows the behaviors to emerge and be documented through an in-depth narrative account. Okay. So, kanina, okay, um, unstructured doon siya, siya mismo, a researcher, kay um, hiwa po siyang parte sa katong observation. Okay, yeah. then iya yeah, po part po siya sa document. So, uh, mas dindot ni siya para na ko, okay. Ilabi na ini gana inig defend niyo sa inyo ang um, thesis or sa inyo ang research, mas ma defend man nimo kay you were there man, okay, actively. Okay. So, mas dindot siya. Okay. Another type, okay, we have here. Okay, the last type is the covert and overt observation. The covert one occurs when the subjects are not aware that they are being observed. Okay. Oh, mas actually not ni siya, no? Okay, mas natural lang iyang paagi. Okay, kaya you are talking the general part, man. Ang overt observation, it occurs when the subjects are aware that they are being observed. Okay. So, um, kung inani nga, pa, kung inani nga paagi ang overt observation, um, ma-conscious man good Okay, ang iyong mag-i-observe rin. Okay, I hope Adelie Giapon maka, uh, makakuha okay, sa ilahang um, validity um, sa ilahang gikandak ng research. Okay, hope valid Giapon ang ilang uh, observation. Okay, another type of the research instrument is the interview. Okay, the interview or interview, okay, it's just okay. <laughs> Okay, so it's used when there is a need to collect in-depth information on people's opinions, thoughts, experiences, and feelings. Okay, so you do the, um, again, yes, there are a lot of interviews going on, okay, right? Especially nga, um, katong mga presidential balls, nga, napadjot yung ingon nga, um, dilip mo join sa, ano sa ni? Kanang, 
<laughs> interview kay bias ko no daan ang nag-interview okay i hope yes again opinions thoughts experiences and feelings man so um, um, especially if ma'am akaibaw to ang ang interviewee eh, makibaw lokin sa ang mo interview sa ang interviewer ah kani siya tawa na bias ni daan di ko ni siya di ko mo apply dere okay. uh, so um na 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 kay ma na, na kay ma state daan bang ano uh, pwede sa dani siyong ni mo sa may mong research studies at no <laughs> nga nung dili ganahan ang uban sa interview okay so there are three types of interviews the first one we have is the structured interview okay same goes with um the other type earlier nga na structured observation no okay in this case um the interviewer asks a set of standard predetermined questions about a particular topic in a specific order okay so pwede ni siya nga na nakay gi hanay daan nga mga questions pwede po nga imong gi gi ingnan daan ang imong interviewon nga this will be my questions i hope this will be okay for you okay. if dili niya um dili kay ko comfortable aning number 5 nimo pwede dili lang ning mo i-appeal Uh, so at least, di ba, um, smooth ang inyong pag-interview na kay um, aware naman siya nga. Ah, okay, na um, I have done, okay, some interviews before when, yes, uh, in my college, nga mga tana daan ang imo, yung imo interviewee. Unsa imong mga questions. Okay, ganun siya makibaon sa daan mga questions before ka, before mo mag-set up yun sa um, real setting na sa inyong interview. Okay, basin masak na lang siya ba nga naka-interview, questions nga are really bad. Mm. So, let's check. Ano kasi mga, ano na niya, okay na siya. Okay, so you also have to be ready on that. Semi-structured interviews, okay, the interviewer uses a set of predetermined questions and the respondents answer in their own words. Okay, so, um, gamay siya gamay ra siya diperensya sa atong structured interview na to um ab um ag kuan lang sa structured kay na na mo uh, topic dana okay mag-focus ta ani nga part mag-focus ta sa um ang customer service okay sa so, semi structured kay um ang imo ang interview kay um wala dili kay sa, ang iyang answer kay Um, it's open ended okay so isa asa lang siya as long as ni answer lang siya sa imong top ay mo pagutan na dili kinailan nga okay, i think nisi mang naka kay atong topic ra about customer service okay so it's still um, again it's still be part of um, the um, the research that you conducted about the a certain restaurant okay another type okay we have the uh, the interview is the unstructured interview Here, the interviewer has no specific guidelines, restrictions, predetermined questions, or list of options. Okay, so wala anything goes. <laughs> um, ikaw na ang case. Okay, so hopefully, imo mang kwan sa dia importante dia sa imo interview. Ang mananghid ka sa imo gi interview nga magrecord ka. Okay, this is for the purpose nga magtranslate pa mang ka, magtranscribe pa mang ka sa inyo hang gistoryaan. Okay. So, manang hindi ka daan. So, ang kani, ang unstructured interview, uh, yes, uh, mas lisod man, kay ikaw pa mag-interpret kung sa to ang giingon, kung sa to ang answer sa imo ang gi-interview. So, um, anything will do man. So, ikaw na ang uh, mag-check kung asa ato sa iyang gi-answer nga ni, ni Fall sa imo ang gustong makuha nga tubag. <laughs> so, mas okay ang structured interview. You know? Okay, but as a structure, sorry. Okay, now let's do have okay, um, the stages of an interview of an interview. Okay, so dili ay nagsugod na niyong mag interview. Dili bang ka madrit so madrit so sa kana. Um, how would you deal with it? <laughs> diba dili din ka sa how so masugod ka sa uh, how you, know, you can use the the question how but. Um, the question like um, it's something that uh, feel at ease a person like how are you okay that's the how um, the first stage okay the pre-interview stage it is when an interview guide is prepared and respondents are identified and contacted 
Okay, ah, okay, na ni na na ang guide, na na ang guide questions. And then you also have to make sure nga ready na ang imo hanggi inter imo interview hunon. Okay, na contact nang bakit basin wala pa din siya na abut. Okay. And make sure nga ikaw ang unang mo abut kaysa imo hang um ikaw man ang kanang ay tuyo niya dili sa na mo sa job interview lahi man na kay ikaw may nangaplay og trabaho di ba so ikaw ang una mo abot okay okay or yeah um, aspirant employee man ka na uh, um company okay we're talking about here the research study that you will be conducting conducting and these interviewees um mo ni sila ang mga respondents nga mutabang pa improve or pahanay sa imuhang research ikaw mo inay tuyo nila so dapat ikaw ang mag-una nila okay uh, warm up stage okay it is the initial part of the interview one questions that will make respondents more at ease okay so more at ease hi mr or miss sir or ma'am okay always treat them with yes um um uh, courtesy okay courteous ka always then uh i i hope you're doing well uh how are you today okay, those possible questions okay main interview stage it is when the main questions directly related to the research yeah okay so i uh, will go ahead i uh, will um if you feel like uh, na com comfortable na ang imong interview okay una na ang imong warm up stage the nga questions kay most probably one to two questions lang okay so kay basin mo na mo time ba niya uh, mula pa dai ka nakapangutan na sa imong mga may, sa imong uh, main questions gyud <laughs> puro na mo warm up stage kay nalinga ko na kag um, mo na importante pud nga structured questions ang imo na kay gitukot na pangutan na okay magaidan man ka Ah, uh, maulit ako mga pangutan na, Sir, by the way, can we proceed with our um, interview or with our questions? Okay. So, I have here the first question. Okay, ano na yun? Okay. And after you have, okay, na na, five questions na, or ten questions. Uh, ten questions, I think it will already be good. And then, ayaw kalimuta nga. So, di ba, prior ato, no, tana to ang imong interview nun nga. Um, pwede makatanaw sa imuhang questions then dili siya comfortable sa number 5 dapat um, imo na siyang i-cross okay or i-mark cross na dito nimo di lang kay x para di ka maglibog niya di na kito nimo mapangutan na og balik okay and then closing stage okay so it is when the questions are asked to um win down the interview and respondents are acknowledged and fact always For, uh, don't forget always don't forget to um thank a okay, the person nga imuhanggi nigahin og oras para nimo mapasalamaton jud ana always okay so ana um yeah it is really professional to handshake okay, the person and uh, firmly and yes be courteous again thank you sir for your time thank you ma'am for your time here's a coupon okay, in a hotel for two <laughs> oh boy dira jud sa inanda Okay, so I hope you uh, learned something. You learned something great today. Thank you so much, my dear students, for joining with me in today's lesson. Enjoy learning, and yes, see you in my next lesson. Thank you so much for uh, for your time. Bye for now. Stay safe.